The new patch is here. All right. We have changes to the gauntlet. We have changes to Runenberg. We have changes to the cannon. Uh, if you haven't already seen my patch notes video, go watch that. Uh, it is. Uh, it will get linked in chat at some point, I am sure. And uh, and we will uh, we'll see what uh, what we got going on. But it's back to Runenberg we go. Yes, we know that the knights have more enemies in Lustrous, which certainly uh, certainly makes it sound like growth is now optional. But uh, we don't know if it was before. So let's see. So we're definitely going to do advanced training. Uh, I'm going to be going for dexterity. I do think that bargaining, scavenging are still good. But I'm tempted right now to go Omen of Talent with the last one. But then I'm I'm rethinking that almost immediately. Well, okay, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do it this once. I still think growth is probably better, especially if you're running in advanced training, because you get more levels and those levels are higher quality. But I want to see what the XP curve looks like without growth. So we're gonna we're gonna do it this way, and we're gonna see what level we end up being by the end of the run. We are also going to leave all the weapons available. We want to use gauntlets pretty heavily. Right now, I think gauntlet power staff is the... Uh... <laughs> you want an omen of talent to allow one misplay per hero? Exactly. Yes, you, you figured me out. You figured me out. And we're going to go APOC 5 because I suspect that the boss knight is going to be more difficult and I want to feel the difficulty. So let's get into Runenberg, the new and improved hotness that is Runenberg. And we have three dwarves from the look of it. We have, well, let's see, we'll start with you. Start with Hanna. Hanna, right off the bat, is a shaman who is unhealthy and thick skinned. So she's got that little bit of of poison action going and a little bit less healing received. Hey, thank you, Alex. Wait, no, it's three dwarves. Gorin Deer. Oh, Gorin is. Oh, yeah, Gorin is a human. That looks like a dwarven name. Anyways, Hana is. Hana has poison stuff going on. We could go we could go human battery. We have that as an option. Human battery pairs up awfully well with going for an XP build. I'm looking at this, I'm like I'm thinking we could go septic shock. We have no volatile. Ah, uh, no, I would not say that poison is is OP. I think poison is the strongest, like, standalone, if you just have the column, you can go for it type of thing. But uh, but I would not describe it as OP per se. Um, Probably, probably dip back for magic fuel here. And then... Like if we're going if we're going Warcry organic armor, we can't go too deep. <laughs> yes, I, I have mis misraced them. My bad. Hmm. This hero's a little rough and tumble. We could maybe try doing some experimentation with Shower of Blows on this hero. I think they're probably gonna be like kind of like a multi-hit XP hero, and that's just gonna be the best we can do but we might go organic armor and try and also get them to be low on hp now i used to like night owl for this but i don't i don't know that we're gonna be able to do that but we'll do this i'm gonna say mhxp is gonna be my uh my type of thing right there that that'll be that'll be you and so since we're going to potentially be going Shower of Blows, I'll, and we're going to potentially be going Gauntlet. No, we're not doing Gauntlet on this hero. Do I want Perseverance? Yeah, we'll grab it. Okay. Grundarir is a thug, strong, and precise. 
Uh, omens for this run, we're going advanced training, dexterity, bargaining, scavenging, and talent. Well, it looks like looks like if we decide to go ballistas, which is is at least somewhat the plan. Uh, oh, we can see. Oh, body count contest. I didn't see a fix for that in the patch notes. Interesting. No, uh, no thickness here means the blood mage. We we kind of split the difference on blood mages, unfortunately. That's kind of disappointing. We do have crit tree. Yeah, I think this is a multi-hit hero. Wait, did I? Did they? Did you have war cry? Right? Yeah. Okay. We'll do this. Body count contest. I'm still gonna grab it, <laughs> even though we know it does basically nothing. And then we have Gorin, our final, uh, our final feathered friend, charlatan, aggressive, aggressive, and methodical. Blah, blah, blah. Can't talk. Get execute for the achievement. Do we have it here? I might take it here. Uh, again, uh, just dodging the bullet on on Blood Mage potential. Uh, everybody is getting defensive training and avid learner, which means that we're probably going to be pretty over leveled when uh, when all is said and done. But another defensive poison tree is not what the doctor ordered. You do have volatile, so we're gonna do. I think we're gonna do uh, like a poison build here. But we've got weird, we've got weird heroes. That's for darn sure. This is gonna be this is gonna be an odd one, to, to be sure. Do we care about septic shock? I'm not really going poison multi hit. I don't think. I kind of feel like we could also we could also go maybe gauntlet. On this hero. Ah, Gauntlet's a little hard to make work without the debuff tree, though, I feel like. I also didn't pick a second one on this tier. Probably go back for magic fuel. I'll grab Septic Shock, and we'll see what we end up doing. I don't know. But that's our three heroes. I'm not uh, I'm not in love with any of them. You have five movement. You have, you have four movement, so I'm going to give you... The short bow. I'll give Goran that, and I'll give you that. Don't need septic shock. Go execute. This is this is why achievement hunting is so uh, so powerful. People get really into it. <laughs> People love their uh, their whatever. Okay, so this night should be the same. We should see one, one elite bat and a standard quantity of enemies, but a bit more resources on the tail end. So let's see if that, if that pans out. Let's see. So you can do these two. And these two. Just gonna do a bit of a fighting retreat. One elite bat and 82 duders. The magic number of duders. We got, we got kindled in the house. This guy we would kill, so we're not going to mess with him. We'll just do a bit of a fighting retreat again. Getting a little body blocked here. Ooh, excuse me. Oh, 
All right, we will we'll defend the inn, even though we're not going to use it. The elite bat coming late in the wave is very good for us. I always struggle with what to do over here. These walls are, they're just exactly the opposite of, of what you're looking for. Let's see, we got one more of these. Hey, escaper. Oh, hello. Thank you for the follow. Escaper, and what were you saying here? Uh, Decided to switch from YouTube to Twitch after the last, the latest uh, crash sesh that happened there. Uh, also join the Discord and what a lovely community it is. It truly is. Thank you for the, uh, thank you for the call out. We, uh, we pride ourselves on having a pretty sweet group of people, uh, and uh, it's, uh, it's been fun. It's been fun creating that community, and uh, and I am excited for for where it goes next. Okay, let's just. Defend up, and then we'll get down to work. I should have destroyed this wall at the very least. This is a this is a wall worth destroying. The inn stands no chance. Also, the, the inn is at one hit point, which is just, you know, that's, that's how you do. Let's see, who's killing, uh, who's killing this guy? Okay, that's good. Then I guess we, we toss you to here, and then you can't quite get in to protect the protect the inn, which means I think that it's definitely dead. But that's okay. Yeah, the movement challenge is going to happen, but uh, we, we, we gotta, we gotta science the new patch. I gotta know if Gauntlet is good now. Gotta, gotta figure out all the, all the ins and outs. So let's see, so if we do this. Yeah, I, I despise... I despise what we got set up here. I don't... Oh, I don't like that we aren't getting that kill either, but I guess we do this anyways. And then I guess we'll swap you two. But there's no way, there's no way we're getting all these guys over here down. In fact, I think I will use a tight volley because these guys are going to be very problematic. Not having magic magic weapons on night one can be a, can be a real real pain. That's all we had. Mm. I miss the, I miss the elite bat. Uh, the 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 movement challenge, Sam, is is an idea that I had for a challenge run where max movement was capped at three. So so you would ne your heroes would never have more than three movement points, uh, which I think is pretty cool. I think it's a pretty cool idea. Let's see, that destroys the inn. So we don't really want to do that. So I think I need to start working on this guy. 
because he's got a lot of movement. He's going to go, yeah, he's going to go quite a ways. There's not much we can do about it. Now you, my friend. Keeper of the axe stuff. I guess we do that. And then... I'll just get to there, and then hopefully I haven't put... Garundarir in too much danger. And hopefully the, the Elite Bat... Okay, the Elite Bat saw the uh, the potential kill on the inn and decided that was the... Uh, that was the play, so goodbye inn. So let's see, so how are we... How do I want to do this? I think... I think I start with a debuff here. And probably also a debuff here. And try and defend where the uh, where the inn is, but we will. There's going to be two stunning entrances, I think, unfortunately, to get you in here, and then. One more cheeky death ray. Potentially kill some things we don't want killed, but I'll uh, I'll allow it. There we go. I think tight volley here to try and consolidate some corpses. And I guess you're the you're the closest, although I I had snared him. And then you just just attract some attention, my friend. It would be interesting. I I think so for the movement challenge, the thing that I'm thinking will happen is it's gonna really make weapons that have a movement facet to them feel very uh very useful. You know, things like swords are gonna have like a, a significant additional value to them. I hate that we just missed that by one. That was extremely disappointing. What's snapping? Nice. Nice, Ivan. Welcome on in. <laughs> Welcome to the party. All right. Just gonna try and pull more people this away. That's what we're looking for. And then if we can take a guy out, we'll we'll do that. Did you know you can get a knight two elite on this map? I think we I think we've gotten a knight two elite on this map. What's the uh, what's the percentage chance of a knight two elite on this map? I think it's pretty low. But I'd certainly be curious. So I think I think these guys are are a bit of a priority just because I think we're we're falling behind on them. One in six. Okay, we've done we've done plenty of runs on this map at this point. Here's what I think we do. I think we we go over like that, and then I'm gonna try to. Move like that, and then we're going to kind of reverse face and come back here. See if we can get any stuns. Yeah, 
Oops. Punch for this guy? Yep. All right, a little punch action there. Again, trying to keep these two in the middle here because they can they can take the heat. All you hear is free money on the second night. I'm always in for some free money. Shop did a great job dodging that one. We take those. I see a decent axe spin here, or axe, uh, axe toss, whatever the heck it's called. If only I had a damage potion. <laughs> such, such a thing is, is inconceivable. Inconceivable. I, I swear, the hardest part about consumables is just, like, remembering that they exist. Because they, they're not quite impactful enough to to justify, in my opinion, at least. Oh my gosh, this guy, this guy has found quite a, quite a path to victory. But there you go, the dud. You got, you got that. And oh yeah, wow, we got we got a kill there. What a, what a difference that make. Oh, did I use the damage potion and still? Mac a Mac a plaque. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. But yes, we left that enemy at one hit point despite using the famed damage potion. So clearly. The damage potions are very important. <laughs> Has guaranteed elites on night 1, 4, 5, 7, and 8, and a chance on night 2, so no elites on night 3 and 6. And and most importantly, the potential for hunters on every night, <laughs> I believe, is the uh, is the the true the true gift that keeps on giving. We can toss you somewhere. We'll just toss you here so you can do this. All right. I see multi-hit XP, poison, and multi-hit, right? Any plans on beelining for the updated weapons? Yeah, one of those will probably be a cannoneer, would be my suspicion. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna get new weapons going as soon as we can. We just literally got three heroes with like poison and defensive as their trees. So, you know, the you can only do so much is the uh, is the short version of things. But I'm gonna do the best that I can. We're uh, we are here for the science. So optimal builds are not the most important thing. But I also want to make sure that we see just what the map is looking like also. So, you know, I don't want to play too avant-gardely. One, one of them does have the potential for kind of a massive health build, but, but yes, MH is definitely multi-hit. And then I don't think you can make it over to this guy. This, this guy is the smartest of all. Still hitting for eight. All right, we, we survived. We spent a lot of mana on our staff user, but I think the corpses should be decent. Everybody hitting level three feels really good. Yeah, so there was a question I don't think we've uh, we've answered yet, but seeing the third corpse mountain on night number one leads me to believe that we got some uh, we got a little bit of a uh, of a come up on on quantity of stuff here, quantity of corpse piles, and let's see we're gonna be going for just a little 
A little corpse build for for Runenberg. There we go. Just to remind myself what we're doing. Let's get a. Let's get to demolishing. Well, we're gonna have at least we're gonna have at least one item, and the reroll bug is not completely sorted. The map only has guaranteed hunters on night four and six, and one and six, and on night two and three, and one and three, and on night six. That was that was some word salad in lustrous. <laughs> I, I I'm sure what you said makes perfect sense there, but like, I uh, I could not parse that to uh, to save my life. So let's see. So the way that we're gonna be doing this is. That's weird. Huh. Oh, there we go. Found a found a bug on the uh, on the base building guide. <laughs> so okay, so we're gonna do a house house line like that. I let's, let's take a look at this really quickly. Uh, destroy, destroy corpse pile. What you do is you hit X to go into demolish, and then you click and hold to delete things quickly. But uh, I'll do that in a second. I wanna I wanna make sure that I get our gear sorted out first offhand axe heavy greaves or that we're gonna look for better here i don't mind a scepter but the stats on it are pretty horrifically bad the pistol is decent we could make the pistol work for now but i'll reroll looking for something better a war shield we don't really have anyone who's going to be taking advantage of it, but I think it's fine for now. With with early dwarves, you can make a, a one of those work. Okay, so so see, I click demolish, and then I click and hold, and that little circle appears over my cursor, and I can just clean up everything, zip around. The gold mine is likely to fall tonight, but we'll uh, we'll let it fall naturally. Our goal is just to make sure that we salvage all of the corpse piles. But yeah, so despite that wave not being larger, last that last night's wave, I do think we got one extra corpse pile, which is a big get in the early game. So let's see. Yeah, so this is going to go... We need this, this, and then we need to get up to six here. Well, here we can do we can do one of them to start. Next wave is an extra ten enemies. Yeah, that's probably not going to be terribly impactful. I I don't think we're going to feel it except in the XP. But yeah, that feels really good from a. Talking about barricades, the dud. We had a run that was all hunters. That's that's the uh, that's the thing that I'm I'm connected to. And then I'm gonna go I'm gonna go the two gold mine route, and I think we are gonna get them out now. So that leaves us with eight. 18 gold, which is uh, not a lot to work with, but that's okay. And we're gonna we had defensive training across the board, right? Yeah. So let's get let's get our XP perks. Okay. Oh, I wanted to go scav camps, didn't I? In lustrous, I did want to go scav camps. Hmm. All right, so if you're going multi at XP, you want critical. And you want resistance reduction. We'll take the XP gain when it's offered. Worked out fine. That that puts that hero at 169 XP. That's that's pretty darn good. Let's see. Garundarir here. Accuracy wouldn't be terrible. 
Oh, traps can be very strong. Uh, escaper. Yeah, you can... I, I've done some traps only runs, and they are nearly as strong as ballistas. Truly. All right, so strictly multi-hit here. We could go for some accuracy. Magic damage is fine. It's not great. Isolation is good. Let's take an accuracy bump. Take an action point. Don't mind if I do. And then your poison? Really? I guess that is what we're building you. All right. So, well, opportunism is fine. Take the big accuracy when we get offered it. Okay, then we can probably get one weapon. <laughs> no, we can't even get one. We can almost get to another power staff. The gauntlet is sadly too expensive. How much does it sell for? 25? Yeah, it's not worth selling. This defensive turtle charm and this hat we can sell. Mana ring, nasal helm. You, you... That can go, that can go. Hang on to that. So let's see how much money we have when all of this is sold. Getting everyone a second weapon is probably worth. We have enough to pick up a cannon and a power staff, so I'll do that. We'll do our axe user gets that. Hana can have that. And Garundarir can grab the, the shield. And then of those, I think Power Staff Shield is the best for soloing. So we'll do that. And I am gonna get rid of I think we're gonna we're gonna have panic tonight. So I will leave those back corpses. Since I think they just Yeah, those ones just protect us. Now, Ballista. And since we've upgraded two on the side, Gurundarir is going to solo over here with the shield, and these two are going to be up top side. Okay. So we're going to try and lure people into this space, and, and these corpses piles aren't going to do much. Epic level zero is almost three to four times as expensive as a common of the same level. That makes sense. All right. Do we want to... None of these we can buy back. All right. Let's do the thing. Night number two. Now, with 10% more enemies. I, I suspect... That we're gonna see. Ooh. All right, settle, settle down, Hana. We don't need, we don't need you killing stuff quite yet. Wondering, I was wondering if you could attack that. All right, we'll just do that. I'm just gonna debuff him. And then we'll uh, we'll see what we can do. And you, on the other hand, are gonna poke. How how many does this kill? See, this would have killed none. Ah, I think I'll probably do this. It, this would have killed none, but I I injured that one. the The ice traps are great for softening up waves, though. Okay, now Garundarir is gonna do gonna do that just to get some block, and then get to here. All right. Can we keep the gold mine alive? News at 11. Okay. 
I'm gonna choose this as my actual fighting spot, I think. Do I kill this in one? I do. This straggler isn't gonna, we are not gonna get much value out of them. So we'll do that. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with... Oh yeah, so the heat has changed on the cannon. We need we do need to take a look at the cannon just to see how, how it stacks up. So we only got two heat from that cannonball. It's pretty good. I think it's going to be a lot harder to overheat moving forward. Oh, we got ourselves an elite on night two. We were just talking about that. I think it's going to be slightly unpleasant uh, trying to kill that elite, but... It does exist. I guess Garandrier didn't have a lot of uh, a lot of HP. I probably should have thought about that. Before I before I went too far in, in that direction. I may need to provide some support. Yeah, I think I, I am going to to reinforce down. Just because Garandrier, when they run out of mana, is gonna be. They're not going to be in terrible shape, but it's not going to be great either. I was thinking the War Shield would carry a little harder than it did. Harder to overeat and harder to reduce your health for that one perk with the cannon. Yeah, that is that is a true statement. Get back in get back into position there. And then just we're just unfortunately Oh, I had rocket jump and I didn't use it. That's unfortunate. So this is cheaper. So I think I will I'll try doing some mortar shenanigans. Oh yeah. Mortar is feeling really good now. To the point where I'm, I'm almost wondering if uh, if we shouldn't be using it a little more aggressively. I should have gotten rid of this also. This 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 ruin is gonna make this side kind of a pain in the butt. I think. That didn't get the kill here. Wow. Okay. We'll just do something like that, and then Garundarir just takes them off. I'm starting to feel like this side might be more okay than I gave it credit, but now we have Rocket Jump. Now I remember that we have Rocket Jump is what I think I should say. So after we give some help with the Elite, we'll probably, uh, we'll probably dart back. Yeah, the biggest thing right now that I'm feeling is the lack of skill range here. So, talk to me. You're at 16% damage on Perfect Guard.
So if I move to here, then I get one rocket jump. How far? Oh, I don't get one rocket jump. This is as far as I can go and still get a rocket jump. So I think, I think I'm just gonna get rid of those four and then, oh, this is the problem with rocket jump. <laughs> Ooh. All right, didn't quite get them done either. That's unfortunate. We did the best we could. Regenerating is annoying. As as is the fact that this guy is literally chewing on our last spell, but we'll be fine. My my gold mine taking getting chunked a bit there, but Not saying, not saying it's pretty, but Garunder is not in any jeopardy of dying, so we got that going for us. If I move to... Wait, does Rocket Jump? Oh, Rocket Jump, I guess, has always had vision. Okay. Well, that's, a, that's a good... That's a good hop. Even if we didn't get this guy, I think it's okay. This gold mine is uh, is about as in trouble as, as in trouble can be. Should have gotten some reliability. I know. If only I was offered a blue reliability. Things could have been so different. Come on, Ballista. Is Harvester still a viable option? I've not seen you taking it. It's... Harvester is not great. Um, I, I also wouldn't describe it as, like, terrible, but it's, it's certainly not... Not in like the the pantheon of my my favorite abilities. Yeah, it, it it's fallen off a bit in my eyes. Oh wait, I can do it here though. Okay. Yeah, I, I think. Yeah, Manuel Manuel is just too good. I think that's that is exactly what it boils down to. Manuel just does. Manuel does what Harvester does, but better. Okay, we'll move to there, and then you have one more action. As we soften you up. Uh, in the original tier list, it was rated very high. It's it's fallen off in my eyes a little bit. It's uh, it's original value. I think came from the fact that I was not running mana wells. And and, it, and as a result, it just didn't it didn't do much. I think I think you need to come over here and, and help out like this way. There's too there's too many enemies over here. Do something like that, and then. Okay. 
fight our fight our way back in a little bit here, I think. Okay, that feels pretty good. This would have been a good turn to detonate this as well. But we uh, we missed that opportunity. Then I'm gonna take out some of the low hanging fruit over here so that the ballistas are more focused on the on the low life ones. Every once in a while, you know, I'm, I, I'm not, I'm not set in my ways. I, uh, I genuinely, I genuinely am here to learn. And sometimes when people suggest things and I try them out, I'm like, that was a great recommendation. Okay. Lachlan, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. I guess we should start moving this guy, but with uh, with the quantity of of movement they have, I I think that it is it is unlikely that they are going to make it to just about anywhere they need to be. Oh, my gold mine is going to take a hit from a from a splitter. That's a bit unfortunate. Oh, the miss. Given that everybody has defensive training, I'm just going to I'm just going to let the ballistas finish off the work. We're already at max panic. We have very very little to gain by having our heroes kill anybody. A few punches motivate them. They channel faster, I've heard. Okay, level five for everybody. Another three course mountains feels good. I I swear I had a run where that night I got two course mountains. I I really despise our heroes. I'm a little I'm a little miffed at the game because I feel like the uh, the heroes that I wanted the game is not giving me. I don't think I need resistance reduction right now. Little movement is going to make a big difference here. Let's just let's get just get our movement sorted out, and then longer range is extremely good. Where are we getting it from tonight? Just the backside. All right, then we'll figure that out. But crit here is good. A little bit of movement. Yeah. Dwarves, you need to take that early movement. It's it's just kind of the the law of the land, unfortunately. We got lots of uh, lots of trinkets, lots and no trinkets. You love to see it. Oh, the multi hit here. The heartbreak. That's not where we wanted the multi hit. Okay, so let's see. So we're going to do. All that and then I think I kind of want to push this turn to consolidate our houses I know they're not in any jeopardy so maybe I don't bother the the desire was to was to on this turn get one of these ruins salvaged that was my thinking I think it's worth doing They have plot armor, we know this, but I 
think it is worth being able to start spending our money on the upgrades here. Yeah, getting up to a thousand materials on this night feels good. I, I do think I will also do the 20 gold of repairs just because the it is annoying seeing all of that. Let's make sure all the blisses that we have are upgraded. And then we're going to build a lot more ballistas. I generally, uh, I generally only keep the four ruins and only to help out when I, uh, when I run out of mountains. But getting up to, getting up to the near 12 workers level is, uh, is consistently good for business. There we go. Get rid of those. These we'll just get rid of for aesthetic reasons. And then we got a little bit of money, so we can actually get a few things if they are available. Warp scroll would be nice, but I, I don't know that we have the... Uh, we have any way to utilize it fully. Eyeing spear, eyeing wand... Nothing, nothing's really hopping out at me. We could grab... Uh, it's an offhand gauntlet. Hmm. Pretty, pretty lackluster set of, uh, set of things here. I kind of think our, our weapons are good enough right now, and maybe we just save our money. We could get mana wells. I'll get mana wells. That'll be that'll be a good investment for the future. Get our get our mana stacking up a little more. I might actually do one improved benediction. Yeah, that looks good. And then was there one thing that was interesting here? Absolutely barely. Ah, uh, pistol shield isn't terrible. I'll grab this. Just because right now I, I don't think uh, shield shield power staff is doing us much good. And then, yeah, I don't really want that. We're a little ways off from the teleportation scroll. All right, so I think we're I think we're just done. And then I'll put you over here and you over here, so you can toss a couple power shots there. But we have ballista coverage, so this is a night where we're gonna try and milk the ballistas. Ooh. Milk the blisses for all they're worth. 12% damage or 12% damage. Mana fuel's more always on. I'll grab it. We're not going to be spreading ourselves thin on this one. Should I pick Omen of Readiness over Omen of Dexterity? If so, why? Isn't Omen of Readiness the gear level one escaper? And if that's the case, isn't one of them a two omen perk and one of them a one omen perk? Anyways, let's get going. Poison and Narnian Rippers, as you do. Why is this not showing the explosion radio? Okay, that's fine. Then. Really despise hoppers. The chip damage is just so frustrating. 
But okay, I think we're I think we're good to go. Oh really? Readiness. So readiness is the one that improves gear level, and it's it's only one uh, it's only one omen point. That's crazy. I could have sworn it was two. Still didn't get the Ripper dead. That's not my finest work. Poison is so annoying. <laughs> All right, so we we rolled over no heat there. That's interesting. I I think it's actually gonna weirdly it may become a little difficult to overheat. Which I was not expecting to be the case. The, the harpies are going to be a little annoying. Hey, Keonius. Let me know if I if I got that one right. But thank you for the uh, thank you for the follow. Yeah, those those uh, those harplings hit hard. I am. I am never not surprised by how hard they hit. Never not surprised. Oh, really? Ah, I miss the days when uh, when straight shot was uh, was you couldn't miss with straight shot. That was uh, that was that was a fine time to be alive. Heck yeah, Keon. Heck yeah. I appreciate you uh, you swinging by and saying hi, and the follow means a lot to me. Thank you. don't love is where I've left you. How far? If I reduce your movement by two, you're still going to get a hit in on this guy, and this guy is not... Well, we can do that. Run you back, and then I guess we do this. Okay. Those uh, 
those harplings do not mess around. Gurundir, I'm going to need to back him off because the harplings are really... Uh... I'm going to do this to take the edge off a bit. Certainly... Certainly worked for for taking a little bit of the pressure off. That was uh, that was a lot of death and destruction that we just created there. Yes, lots of plans for further improvements. Um, no walls of pain. Um, we're not hitting hard enough, really, with this hero, if I'm being honest. I I did consider it, but it's just like... This hero is still, uh, still a little lacking. Lacking on the damage. Let's see, does this take out three? Can your, can your toast go away? Okay, we did manage to overheat there. So my my previous statement about the difficulty of overheating has been uh, has been debunked at least slightly. And Garundir taking a single hit means that at least the uh, perfect guard doesn't drop. Yeah, so, so this is very early game, Benedict. We're not, uh, and we, we don't have any type of like blood mage or anything like that going on. So this this hero's a little just kind of like, they got a war shield because we, we got offered a war shield. And that's, it's about as, uh, it's about as exciting as that. <laughs> um, so we're, we're still working on it. Right now, Walls of Pain would be a lot of mana for not a lot of, uh, not a lot of kills, unfortunately. Yeah, you can see that, like, so Walls of Pain right now is only doing 108 to 137. <laughs> so. Yeah, none, none of these heroes really... Ugh. None of these heroes really popped out. I was personally thinking about a flow chart for what to do on specific knights plus maps, uh, but I would have to expand my knowledge a lot. Yeah, so I, I talked about that a little bit at the beginning of the build guide video, Escaper. There's, there's a lot of things that mean that I don't like the idea of doing like a do X then Y type of thing because it it doesn't work out unfortunately like you know you're you might get a different number of corpse mountains and you might not be able to do as many things you know like there's a there's a lot of factors involved that that I think complicate the uh complicate the ability to just be like oh yeah do x then y type of thing so I have uh I've been purposefully trying to avoid that uh that approach but i want i want to equip people with things that will help them to do uh to do the things they want to do and in the case of uh in the case of building i think that the most important thing is the layout the order in which you pick things up is not going to be make or break but what is going to be make or break is uh is making the right decisions about placement of stuff all right, so where did we end up here? Don't really want to move you all the way out, so we'll just defend up. I wanted to get rid of the hoppers so we weren't taking a bunch more hits on Garundarir, but I may have... Oof. It, it is possible, though, that... Uh, 
that one thing that we could do, Escapert, for the future, uh, based on that feedback, is we might be able to put like just a a straight ordering on the on the build guide to basically be like, you should probably build the gold mines before you build the mana wells or, or something like that. But largely, I think it's still it's still one of those things where I'm like, you should you should choose when you build the mana wells based on when you need mana. And you should choose when you build X based, you know, like there to me, there's always a, you, you want to be thinking critically about what you're trying to accomplish, what you're having a hard time with at any given moment in order to pick the right upgrade for for the moment. Six, really? Seems, seems unfortunate. All right. Let's see. And then this guy over here. How are you doing? Grunderir has taken some some substantial abuse. I'm not really thrilled about that. The the harpies hit super hard. Pistol shield. I'm I'm enjoying a little bit here. Improvise, adapt, improve any game. It's true. It's true. It's it's like at the beginning of nearly every one of my guides for a very long time, that's been one of the things that I stress is that, you know, like if you're doing a tier list, no weapon is categorically better than another weapon. The the situationality of it is so important and you really need to be thinking critically about what's gonna work and serve you best. I'd love to put in some damage on the hopper, but I also don't want to take a bunch of damage. We have six movement, but only one AP. I could do this and then run away. That's fine. Okay. Hey, Jaster, well done. Nice, nicely, nicely played. Starting, starting to get the hang of it. Get your sea legs under you. It's good stuff. All right, we still got our three corpse files. I'm fine with that. Yeah, so this is, I think this is the last night that we're doing, we're doing materials. But the good news is because we got this, we can do that. And we're getting a full 900, which feels pretty good. And then we're getting it from both sides, but the top is going to be a minor push. I think that completes the ring, which is kind of like the, the bare minimum that I like to get to. I think there was one of these that I didn't upgrade. I wish there's a visual distinction between mounted and unmounted ballista. And then let's see, I think I'm just gonna do that and that. Let's do level ups real quick here. Okay, we're going to look for multi-hit or XP here. Crit power I will take, though. You have enough movement. Fine, you can have a bit more movement. Action point is fine. Until we get war, I mean, I think. I guess we don't. We don't need lone wolf at all. So we might as well get two there, and then we'll get war cry next time. But that's fine. Do you know this first time I uh, watching? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about specifically with the tier list, but I'd imagine something. Uh, that's reliable in most scenarios would take uh, would be very high up on the tier list. Yeah, 
things that perform generally better will. There's some things that are situationally very powerful, and uh, and we like to call those out as well. But uh, but yeah, generally speaking, with any type of tier list or any type of guide that I put out, there's no evergreen concept. What do we have here? <laughs> <laughs> That's terrifying, the dud. Let's see. Who are, who are you? You're our multi-hit hero. I'm a regular crit power. I'm gonna I'm gonna skip on once. And then a little bit of movement. No, nah, I think we'll take the crit. I want to get our crit starting to go and damage is fine we're a little light on damage right now and then our poison hero can take big poison and an action point is great and they only got one level up so i think it's i actually think it might be epidemic we don't have a poison weapon so let's go volatile i'm gonna try and get weapons for everyone tonight as well and then this is the side that's taking the uh taking the cake so we'll do that and then we're good on that front we could toss out one more little ballista like right here but I, I barely think it's worth it something like that I think Garunderir is going to be up here solo well yeah, Garunderir needs a bit of a bit of recovery time. Hello, Governor. Oh yeah, I was thinking. I think I think Sword Gauntlet is gonna be the play. That's that's one that's one prediction that I have. So I might grab a sword. Well, I would have preferred a skill range sword, but the sword is decent. And I'll give this a roll. Darn it, skill range sword. Where were you last time? Where are the gauntlets at, though? That is a nice ring, but it's a little expensive. Druid staff I will pick up. Let's let's do some. Do some work here. For now, you can take that. And then our poison hero can swap that for that. This axe probably isn't worth keeping. Let's put the, the pistol there. It's higher base level. Sledge Gauntlet? Maybe. Maybe. You you want a lot of skill range, so you, you can get that from Sledge as well, but the dash attack, because you have to get in and out, I think makes the, the sword pretty interesting. And then I think we will do... We're going to do our upgrades here and here. We've done our 10. So I think we're good there. Any other goodies that we're interested in here? Tomorrow, tomorrow we feast on not materials and gold. So gear's going to come in pretty quick. We just have to survive this night. This is a nice trinket. Maybe we grab this. We have, we, we're floating some cash. And I don't mind losing a little bit of damage on Hana here in exchange for maybe an extra level breakpoint. Hunter's incoming. I mean, it seems, it seems highly likely. Let's see. So I guess, yeah, I guess we're ready to go. Let's, uh, let's do the thing. Do we want to... I'll just toss this in here. Why not? It has it has good enough vision. It's covering a decent spot. All right, let's do night number four. What do we have here? We got we got all the things we expected. Hurrah! Okay, 
getting rid of him feels pretty good. Oh, I'll leave that one for later and just zap that guy. Hope is I didn't want to use any momentum there because I did not want to I didn't want to kill it and then let's see we have at least a little bit of skill range Let's get to, I guess, here. Yeah, these corpses are getting in the way. I, I should have never let them, left them. I guess I can punch them for uh, for block, so we have that going for us. But yeah, this is this is a good wave for us. Oh no, you don't, Mr. Hunter. Blockers and Hunters is always a, a bit of a spicy meatball, but I think we'll do okay. We'll have to wait on that one until next turn. And then you can... You can do that. Love it. Okay, now what's your deal? Okay, looks good. It wasn't a mistake. It was a strategic play to maximize block gain. Oh, clearly. There, we don't make mistakes here. We uh we make This is a uh, This is the this is the Bob Ross school of uh of whatever the heck we're doing. Right? Everything is a happy little accident here. Happy little accidents abound when least expected. Then is there a place I can stand? Yeah, where I can get all three of these. Little, little disappointed that we uh, we didn't court convert quite as well as I was hoping we would on some of that. This guy we can we can leave for later. We'll be able to poke him down pretty easily. Almost got everything. We did all right there. There, there we go. And Lustra's bringing in, bringing in the Bob Ross trading cart. There are no mistakes, just happy little accidents. I, uh, I, I generally strive for uh, for the theme to be also spiritually Bob Ross adjacent, just in the sense that. It is, uh, it is chilled out, hopefully. I think over here we can take one of these, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry too much about that. Oh, really? I, 
I'm no game dev, but I think part of the secret sauce is less about having a perfectly balanced game and more imbalanced, fun, and interesting stuff. Oh, a thousand percent. Uh, a thousand percent that. I, I would agree wholeheartedly, Mr. Spoo. I think that, at least with single player games, right? You know, there, there is a bit of a caveat, obviously, because, you know, we're not talking about, like, you know, e competitive esports games or something like that, right? Because in that context, things are a little, you know, different. But yes, I, I would agree wholeheartedly with the assessment that... Yeah, so it's so interesting that you can now use Armageddon and not uh, trigger... Not trigger overheating immediately. I don't know how I feel about that change, actually. It's, it's interesting, like... Wish I could move you, but... Okay, the elite coming on this side is a bit of a... A bit of a disappointment. Or a bit of a complexity that we will need to navigate. And then clearly we have got we got a couple got a couple hunters over on the other side that we need to deal with. These guys I'm not too worried. We oh we could get oh that would have been a good that would have been a good detonate probably. Not not dying is the is mainly what's on the menu right now. So yeah, I'm I'm a little It's it's a weird thing that I'm struggling with right now, but it seems like they made overheating really difficult all of a sudden. Which I was not expecting. But like it takes a lot to get overheating. So if you don't if you don't want to overheat you have a lot of latitude for avoiding it now, which is curious. The only overheat change was a damage nerf and a minus one heat to Armageddon. False. Uh, because they changed, hold on, let me bring up the, uh, let me bring up Armageddon here. So they changed it to three action points and three mana, and they changed the amount of heat that you get for each action and mana. So the overheat change was actually a net of three heat change on Armageddon, not one. And previously, Armageddon would immediately put you into heat, uh... And now it doesn't. Or excuse me, into overheat is what I meant to say. But uh, yeah, now now it does not. And everything is generating less heat because of the change to overheat. That's the, that's the, the thing. Now I think I'm going to have to go after the elite right now. I don't think I can wait on this one. Now, you have a minimum range also, right? No, you can aim shot immediately. Hmm. Would have liked to have waited for him to get in, but... Is what it is. Still hunters that are probably the biggest threat to us. 
Reading the patch right now, only motor, mortar and Armageddon generate less heat. Okay. Listen. <laughs> they, they changed overheat. All right. I'll bring it up right now. All right. Where are you? Yeah, so so Armageddon's heat cost changed because the generate because its AP cost changed. Yeah, we're talking about the heat cost, right? So the heat is reached is plus one heat for each action point and base mana cost, right? And the oh, I see what you're saying. Yes, okay. So yeah, so so previously you got seven heat from overheat. Now you get six, which means you do not enter into overheat here immediately. That's what I am saying, right? Previously, you overheated immediately on Armageddon because you took seven heat for it. You no longer take seven heat for it. Are we clear? Is that, is that agreed upon? Hey, later escaper. Thanks for, uh, thanks for swinging by. So, so what I said was, it is harder to get into overheat now because you ca you have no skill that will singularly get you into overheat immediately. That we we track in so far. I don't do I want to spend mana here. We might be able to avoid a little bit. I'm a little sad we, we killed that guy out there. We might not get an elite corpse from him. Yeah, so so for a war cry hero, there are two thing there are two implications to the changes. You're being gaslit. Maybe. <laughs> um, yeah, so so my my point going back was that the that it is harder to Well okay, let's let's go back let's go back to basics, right? The point that I was trying to make was that it is harder to overheat, and I think that that is an early game nerf to the cannon because your explosion damage, which also got a nerf, is now less, right? So, like, if I do this, I'm going to get the two attacks there, and the, the explosion damage is also doing less damage, right? I, I'm just, I'm trying to understand, like, let me go back. Okay, so... Let's see. Reading the patch, only Mortar and Armageddon generate less heat. Correct. I agree with that. Man, I, I, it's the problem is, is because I wasn't participating in chat. I don't have the things that I said. I may have misspoke, but my, my point was that it is harder to overheat because you now can't get into overheating in a single action. And then if you're trying to whittle down your health for something like Warcry, you can't do it. And you also can't push yourself into overheating immediately with Armageddon, which means that you can't get, say, like an easy two rocket jumps in the early nights. So I don't know. I think it's a I think it's a sleeper bit of a nerf to to the way that I have played with uh I've played with the cannon in the past. So we're going to go items now, I think. It is it is time. Are we I think we're not recruit. Well, we're level 9 now, aren't we? So maybe we are building the inn. 
arguing about health costs or damage nerf. They're trying to say that while it was harder, it is only by one more cannon action. Yes. Okay. So that, that is true. It is one more cannon action, but that feels like a pretty big break point. Yeah. I, I think that to me, that just feels like a large break point. So I was just trying to emphasize it. But, but yes, I, I think we're all on the same page. Okay, so you are a Warcry hero. So if I get offered a, a big health jump, I should grab it. Skill range is important because you're going to be in potential danger. Magic damage seems good. Okay, and then we will grab Warcry and Mana Collector on you. Yeah, we should, we should pick up another hero on this turn if we can get enough money to to make it reasonable which i think we will be able to we can just get another 80 gold that's probably enough but let's get let's get everybody leveled up uh, another action point here is good but at some point we're going to hit diminishing returns on it i think crit power is good although our crit is a little low i think we'll do we'll do mana collector just so we can start free casting at least and then our poison hero, did you get one or two? You got two level ups. So you're gonna go epidemic and I think potent toxins. We do want some stun chance. I'm gonna start grabbing some stun chance. We'll take a bounce. I have a I have a new build in mind for Gorin that we're gonna try out. So this is gonna be interesting. We have enough accuracy, although we are taking, eh, I don't think we need more isolation. Never, never kick crit out of bed. And then in comes up here. And then I guess let's get that upgraded. And yeah, our ballistas are going to stagnate a little bit, but that's okay. And then in wise, yeah, I was like, we're going to have a hard time affording someone. I wouldn't mind this hero though. I have exchanged my old... Oh, wait. So if you use Cannonball and Rocket Jump often, it's still easy to overheat. It's a, definitely a nerf, but I just use Cannon self-damage for Warcry. So yeah, so I think the problem is, is that, especially Rocket Jump, I want to be using with Explosions. That's, that's where I think things get tricky for me. I'll take this Axe. I think it's good enough. Like I'm, I'm trying to use rocket jump to get myself into a position so that the, the point blank AOE lands. And from that perspective, that means that I don't want to use it to set up, basically. Steel pauldrons are good enough. I like the trinket. We need some trinkets. I'm really hoping we get some interesting heroes. Right now, all of our heroes are like hella boring. Not, not sure why I went full valley girl there and uh, and declared that they were hella boring, but they are a little boring at the moment. You've been you've been delving deep in the game files and lustrous. It is it is very true. We need, we need a lot of trinkets, so I'll grab that. And then this, I think, was an easy roll. That looks good enough. All right. We're going to go double Druid Staff there for now. Would not, would not recommend, but here we are anyways. I took this without thinking too hard about it. You, you are ultimately a multi-hit hero, though. So... This, this may be getting retired. For now, I'm going to, I'm going to crank up your crit, I think most of all, and then you get that. And then you can take that for now. I'll keep this. Let's see. Let's see what, what our heroes look like in here again. I think we want Harv. Minor, clumsy, and athletic is good enough. 
on starter heroes with no extra HP, you have six. Uh, just using basic attacks, you generate six heat and drop five at the end of turn. You don't actively overheat until the third consecutive turn of firing now. Yeah, that, that is a big... Correct, yeah, that did not change Dio in in the update. And I was never trying to overheat with basic attacks, but the the issue is the AP cost, right? You're spending three AP just to get uh just to get Armageddon off so that you are in range to overheat. And then you have to use another two AP, or I guess one AP if you rocket jump, but you want to rocket jump with that. So maybe you mortar. Does Mortar... Is Mortar only 1 AP now? I'm trying to remember. No, it's 2 AP. So yeah, so you have to use your first rocket jump without being overheated in order to get to, to overheating with 2 AP left if you have 6 AP. That's where that's where things get hard, I think. That's the that's the challenge. Okay, so let's we'll sell we'll sell some of the garbage stuff that we know is going. Ooh, how now I'm starting to feel like are we gonna get to 383? We may not even get to 383 if we sell all of this. Let's just see how far we get. Okay. We do get there. I think it's worth picking up another hero here, even if. Okay, be be not terrible. I like his this guy's face tattoo. I don't think we've seen this guy before. Where'd he come from? We're gonna... We're going with a... Gauntlet build here, I think. That's that's my goal. Is to get some gauntlet... Action going. Dodgy gauntlet action? Is that, is that madness? I think that might be madness. We can try it though. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna actively go crazy seeking out that. Now, why am I taking stunning? Doesn't make sense for a gauntlet user unless we're going hammer gauntlet. We might need we might need leap over. Let's grab that instead. Do we need bully? Yeah. Let's grab bully. We need propagate bounces. We need some mana recoup. And then I'll grab hex for now. Okay, we're gonna need we're gonna need some movement for sure. But I was planning to build this guy crit, and a blue crit is really it's really nice. We'll get a little bit of movement just because we're gonna be bouncing back and forth with this hero. Oh, I'm sure it's in there in Lustra somewhere, but I want to do some secondary stats here. We know we're going to be taking a gauntlet. I don't know what I'm pairing it with yet, but we took some crit, so we'll grab that. A lot of crit power coming in on this hero. A lot of crit power. Holy smokes. Good level up so far, but holy crit power, Batman. I feel like all of our heroes' damage mods are a little in the trash. But we will see. Okay, so we only have 30 bucks left, which really means I can just rebuy one thing, I think. If I sell the mana ring and I sell the helmet, maybe we can rebuy the sword. This hero is going to need a little bit of time to bake in the oven, but... Yeah, they got some good, they got some good crit there for sure. Now, do we have we have two heroes who only have one weapon, don't we? Yes. 
I don't think I don't think we have the ability to fix that in any meaningful way, unfortunately. Because we needed all the money. Yeah, okay. This is this is gonna be this is gonna be an interesting night. We do we do have four workers. Oh, we do have four workers. Okay, so let's just I guess we have to do one of those, and then we'll do this. This, this, this. Okay, that, that helps out a little bit. And then we're out of workers, so I won't bother doing this last upgrade. But that lets us buy back a few things, so we're not completely doomed. Did I really sell this for 56? Jeez. All right, we at least have, we at least have weapons for everyone now. I don't really want Harv getting beat up. So maybe I'll do that. And you can do that. And you can be like a improvised momentum hero for the time being. I'm a little sad we're not getting the warp crystal. Could we get there? 46 is pretty steep, I feel like. Yeah, we're already working. We're, pre we're already working pretty hard to, to get there. So Harv is going to be... Like, Propagate Sadist. P.S. Harv. All right. We'll, we'll try that out. Let's see. So, we need... We have two pretty bad heroes. We should put one bad hero on each side. Hunna's going to be doing pretty well. So, we'll put them over here, and we'll put you over here. There we go. And then I will get to Demolishing. We also have a little bit of money left, so let me just get the structure repair done. All right. All righty, what are we what are we working with here? Uh, okay, get rid of that. Nice, nice, all good. Okay. Oh yeah, free building abilities. Those are important. Let's see, how much mana are you missing right now? Yeah, you can you can take the little one. And we don't need to put anything here because this guy is feeling good about life, but 